Former Vice President of Nigeria, Tiku Abubakar, has indicated an interest in contesting in the 2023 presidential election in Nigeria. Also, Sokoto State Governor Aminu Tambua, as well as his Bauchi State counterpart, Bala Mohamed, are also eyeing the nation's number one political seat and have shown interest. This was disclosed on Thursday by the Oyo State Governor Sheima Kinde, despite the uncertainties that have so far enveloped issues about the zoning of the presidential ticket. Governor Mekinde made the disclosure during an interview with Channels TV where he expressed confidence in the ability of the People's Democratic Party PDP to win the 2023 presidential election. He asserted that the PDP has capable and experienced hands, while Nigerians are also willing to dump the All Progressive Congress APC for PDP in 2023. He, however, pleaded for unity in PDP, saying the party is the only enemy that can work against itself. If members do not unite and pursue a common objective ahead of the next general elections in the country, he said the PDP governors have realized this and are working towards achieving the objective of unity. I make bold to say that the situation in PDP in this country today, the only way that you can stop PDP at the federal levels, is by dividing PDP internally, making they declared. All the governors of the PDP are well aware of this fact and we made unity within ourselves our number one priority. Once the governors of the PDP are able to move in one direction, align on most of the issues and the challenges we are faced with, I think there is hope for this country. The issue right now is that our party PDP has eminently qualified personalities that can lead this country successfully. Some have indicated interests like former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, like Governor Tambua, like Governor Bala Mohamed, they have indicated interests. But the bottom line is, when we get to the bridge, we'll definitely cross it. What is important at this stage, which I will solicit the support of PDP members and the generality of Nigerians, is please support us to have a successful national convention. There's no way you can become anything, president, vice president, even governor, if we don't have a party. What we want to do first is ensure that we get things right within our party. On the readiness of the PDP to wrestle power from the APC in 2023, Mackinley said, well, it's a question that I know Nigerians will answer and they will answer decisively. PDP, um, they've zoned, it's a known fact that um, their national chairmanship slot has been zoned to the north. But uh, they also confirmed that that does not um, rule out the fact that they will not present a northern candidate. At least what um, Mackinday just stated confirms that statement that they are not just joking, they mean it's serious. Mackinday had just revealed that um, Atiku Abubakar, Aminu Tambua, that um, Ambala Mohammed, they've indicated their interest um, for contesting the 2023 presidential election. When we talk about justice, fairness, and equality in our democratic um, government that we're operating, presidency has been with the North. President Mohammed Buhari will be completing his eight year tenure very soon, not long to go. And that is why all this politicking and that is why all of this was seen because the time is ticking really fast. For fairness and inclusion, presidency should move to another region. It should not remain in the hands of the north. It should move um, to the south as southern governors demanded. But with everything uh, working and playing out recently, we've seen and we can see that um, the north, they are not ready to let go of power. And the question Mark Inde put out there that... Uh, uh the the nigerians they have the role the it's nigerians role to actually decide where it will be the question is that nigerians will answer and they will do that decisively if INEC would truly truly um do the right thing and allow the vote of the people to count majority of nigerians believe that uh, it is time that a uh, presidency move away from the north it's, it's too much. The oppression is too much. You should move away from the north. And PDP, right now, for them to be taking this step is tr truly unbelievable because APC has failed the country and Nigerians are looking to PDP right now. 
PDP um, is the main opposition party. There are other political parties in the country, but obviously we know PDP is the main opposition party. And if Nigerians have lost confidence in APC, then we're looking at PDP to see what they can offer, what they will bring, how they will put things in shape, and how they will um, reshape the country and end all of this that we're going through. But with them coming, pulling this uh, one that uh, it has to be a northern candidate, I don't think, I don't know if Nigerians will still support that, if they will still support that. In spite of all of this, um, the, the party itself is reading with internal crisis. We know that was what led to the ouster of their chairman, Uche Secondus. It came very, very shockingly. Uche Secondus was sent back in. They are going to be holding the national convention very soon. Very, very soon. Not long to go. And after the convention, they are sure they are already preparing for 2023. Once the convention has been done, it means the new national chairman has been elected. Then um, they will start. These guys, the names that have been mentioned, Atiku, Tambua, and Mohammed, these guys, Fatiku Abubakar, former vice president, he's contested in almost all the elections. And he's mentioned it before, now even before this one is coming out, he's mentioned it that he wants to give it um, his last shot. He wants to give it a shot. Nigerians don't want recycled politicians. These guys coming on board again will not change things. It's the same cycle. It, it's going to look like we're going round and round and round and round. It was uh, two days ago that uh, we the memorial was held for the hashtag answers, the heroes that were killed. These guys, we didn't hear anything from them. And at the, when that time comes, they will now start beckoning on the youth, on, the, on Nigerians, support us and do this. But we can't see, there is nothing to show that you guys are really on our side. During the hashtag answers last year, Tiku Abubakar was in uh, Dubai. He was from Dubai, he was speaking, we are, well, I'm on your side, I'm on this. Nigerians told him that you better remain where you are because when it's time for election, those people in Dubai, they will vote for you. Not long from then, he returned back to the country. He's back now. He was even present in the country when this memorial was being held. Because if you check very well, what was their response to all of this? The police, they were still brutalizing uh, um, the youth. Unarmed citizens who were just uh, uh, out there for a remembrance day. No matter what Buhari's government does, the, the, the memory of October 20th, 2020 can never be erased. It can never be erased. And this one would think that this is something that um, anyone that truly believes in the youth, because they keep sending statements, we believe in you. Someone who sent his own, we believe in the youth. You believe in the youth, you believe in the youth, but you cannot support the youth. A thing like that, a protest like that, you cannot stand your ground that these people should be protected. But the police, they were still seen brutalizing the youth. And then you will come back to say they should come and vote for you. Nigerians are waiting for all of these recycled politicians. We are truly waiting for them. Let's hear your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.